Well, I mean, there's obviously an Atlantic space in terms of NATO, a very long-lasting military alliance uh, that has uh, at least its historical merits, if not uh, an important future role. So for the North Atlantic space, we can clearly talk about an Atlantic or mutually shared interests across uh, uh, the Atlantic, also in terms of political systems, in terms of uh, 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 culture or values. Uh, in terms of the uh, Atlantic space, uh, northern and southern Atlantic space, there are some uh, commonalities as well. There are pretty close relationships between Europe and particularly Spain and Latin America. But there is also increased interest in mutual relationships between Latin America on the one hand and uh, African nations like Morocco, for example, on the other hand. Although these relationships also in terms of sheer trade volume still need uh, uh, to develop much further in comparison to the very established North Atlantic relationships. Well, in terms of food security, North Atlantic countries are pretty food secure. The same is true for many countries in the Latin American uh, hemisphere. On the African uh, side, uh, there are some countries that face considerable food security risks, like uh, Congo, for example. But more importantly, uh, we have uh, a number of uh, very strong food net exporters in the Atlantic spheres. Uh, that is true for the United States and Canada but also for some European countries like France and for some Latin American countries like uh, Brazil and Argentina. And these countries, of course, play a very considerable role like oil net exporters, for example, in the global economy. Well, as a result of the shale revolution in the United States, there's much less import dependency on oil from elsewhere, uh, not so much actually the Middle East, but more from Africa, which produces the same uh, quality of oil like the United States, light sweet oil. Um, having said that, uh, we need to wait how this uh, shale revolution will play out in detail. We uh, will likely not see similar developments in uh, Europe and we will continue to have uh, a very strong import dependence here in uh, Europe and actually a lot of uh, the oil that does not find its way now to North American markets from Africa uh, uh, will go towards Asia but also towards uh, uh, Europe. So there is room for transatlantic energy cooperation, not so much in the field of oil but rather in the field of natural gas that the US could develop into uh, an export of liquefied natural gas which could contribute to more liquid natural gas uh, markets globally and some of this LNG uh, uh, might find its way to Europe but even if it doesn't it will contribute to more liquid natural gas markets and as such will provide Europe with a stronger bargaining position towards its traditional uh, exporters like Russia for example.